Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fruity Moss channel, and today let's do another tutorial. Yeah! Well, it's been a while since I did my last video. I think it's what it was the kick video, not sure. Um, I have to check it, but hey, you know. Um, yeah, I've been busy with a lot of stuff. Uh, Hercules, uh, starting my own company, simple stuff like that. And yeah, so I really wanted to uh, make some time to, to record some cool tutorials, because I got this whole list of tutorials I want to do, and I'm pretty sure... You're all waiting on that, and I'm going to do them soon. But for now, this is a really short tutorial. Uh, once I stop talking and start doing stuff, of course, because the talking really takes a lot of time in my case, because I just don't stop talking or whatever. So yeah, for those of you who have heard about Midside EQ, 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 EQ. Um, Fat Filter Pro Q2 and Pro Q3. Damn, it's hard to pronounce Pro Q2 and Pro Q3 actually, but I just did twice. It has this mid side EQ function. Well, um, some of you might really want to have a plugin or a VST that can do that, but you might not have the money to do it or whatever. Well, you don't need to because you can set this up in Apple Studio with stock plugins. Let's let me show you how. So. Here, let's show you a track I probably shouldn't be showing you, or perhaps I can, because I know a German guy, and he really likes it, so can't be that wrong. So, this is basically how it goes. In come the drums. So yeah, that's Fruity Masters with Here Come The Germans. Um, <laughs> yeah, so how do we create a mid-side EQ with Apple Studio plugins? It's, uh, well, I, I'd love to say it's really simple, but perhaps it might be complicated. First, let's add this one to the mixer by pressing Ctrl L. Let's name it Source Signal, because after you have set this up, you can basically route everything to the first... Uh, mixer channel and from there it's all set up. Now we need to create a mono signal. So let's route this one over here and let's name it not important. I'll explain later. First let's make it mono and invert the signal. Then let's send this one over here and let's name this one side and let's give it a nice color. And now let's route the not important signal to the side. And let's also route it to the mid mixer track. And invert it again. And now it should all just work. I might look like a smartass right now, but trust me, this is the fourth time I'm doing this tutorial. Hopefully it now doesn't mess up the audio. All right, let's throw it off. Yeah, okay, so now it works. We now have a mid-side EQ. Let me show you. When I disable the side uh, mix channel, we should only hear the mono signal. And when I disable the mid, we should only hear the side signal. So when we turn the side signal to mono, we shouldn't hear anything at all. And that's because your side signal is basically exactly the same on the left and on the right, but they are opposites of each other. So they cancel each other out. That's why some tracks sound different on your phone speaker. So yeah, okay, nice. We set all of this crap up. What's the use now? Now, here's the thing. You can add a parametric EQ too. Holy. Okay, yeah, all of these plugins. Now you can EQ the mid signal. In come the Germans. Uh, 
I'm only EQing the mid signal now. You can also do the same thing with the side signal. Let's play it. Come the drone. Wait. There, you can't really see waveforms um, in the side signal EQ. Come the drone. There's nothing wrong, but um, I think the EQ only checks the left or your right channel or something. I'm not sure, but perhaps the, 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 the visuals of the EQ are not receiving info, but it still works. However, anyway, you can now EQ your side signal over here and your mid signal over here. So let's, uh, let's try it out. So let's go to the part with uh, my stereo plug. So when I disable the side, you only hear the mid and vice versa. We can now EQ the side. Nice. Let's secure the mid again. I'm just doing some stuff as an example. So now it should sound different. Yeah, that's not the best EQing ever, but this works and I can uh, ensure you um, the quality of your track stays the same. There is no quality reduction at all when you're doing this. So play it back a, a couple of times if you want to do this and you don't have a mid-side EQ and you really want to use a mid-side EQ. I think this is, uh, once you have set it up, make it a template or whatever, it's a really easy uh, way of doing it. But yeah, you need four mixer tracks. So that's the thing. Just give them the right color so that always cheers stuff up. So soon there will be a melody tutorial and basically everything else. Um, but for now, here's the mid-side EQ with stock plugins. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I really wanted to share this for a couple of weeks now. Um, because I think it, it, it's something not a lot of people know. Um, and it might be useful to you. So thanks again for watching and see you again next time.